Boys without me. Welcome back to Easy Mathematics. Today we want to look at powers of numbers. And uh, before we start with what we are to do today, we are to talk about uh, more on powers of numbers. What powers of numbers are, how to simplify uh, powers of numbers, and how to write an index number for a given uh, number or multiplication or expression. But we have that one in our previous videos. So if you want simplification of powers, visit our previous videos for more explanation on powers of numbers. And also we have to look at the product of prime of numbers and how to write them in an index form or uh, an exponential form. So today what we want to talk about is division and, sorry, multiplication and division of powers. We want to talk about multiplication and division of powers. One will ask, what is a power? A power or powers of numbers is a number having another number on top or an exponent. That number on top, we call it index, we call it exponent or raised to the power. So we want to look at how to divide and multiply powers of numbers. Now, to multiply or divide powers of numbers, we need to use the law of indices. So we will look at what the law of indices are, then we we'll know how to multiply out of these laws. So let's look at the first law. The first, first law of indices. The first law. Now the first law says that if you are multiplying numbers having the same base, if you are multiplying powers having the same base, we pick one of the base and add the powers. That is the first law. So if you are multiplying powers of numbers, we are multiplying powers of numbers, let's say 3 raised to the power 5 times 3 raised to the power 2. The first law is saying that if you are multiplying numbers having the same bases, because the bases are the same, you add only the powers. So that is, because the bases are the same, I'm going to pick one of the base and add the powers. So 5 plus 2. And 5 plus 2 will give me what? 7. So the answer for this is 3 raised to the power 7. For more information on what powers of numbers are and examples, you can visit our previous videos. So if you are multiplying and the powers are the same, then it sh should tell you that because you are multiplying and the bases are the same, because the bases are the same, you add the powers. That is what the first law says. So let's say we have another example here. Y times y raised to the power 2. We have y times y raised to the power 2. Now, in our previous videos, we are able to say that any number without a power is written as power 1. So with one more explanation, you have to visit our previous videos for simplification of powers and finding the product, prime product or product of prime of numbers. Now, how can I do this? The bases are the same, so I have to pick one base. You add the powers. Because there is no power here, it means the power here is 1. And that is something that we have to know in indices. So we will add the powers, which is 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2 is going to give me y raised to the power 3. So the first law is saying that if you are multiplying, and the powers are the same, and the base, sorry, and the base are the same, pick one base, add the powers. Let's look at the last example. Let's say you have 7 raised to the power 3 times 7 raised to the power 2 times 7 raised to the power 4. You are multiplying. They have the same base. This is the base, this is the exponent or the power. So because they are having the same base, 7, 7, 7, Pick one of the base. Then what will happen to the powers? You put them together. That is what the first law is saying. 
So if you put 3 plus 2 plus 4 together, what are you going to get? It's going to give you 9. So this will give you 7 raised to the power 9. And this is what the first law says. If you are multiplying and the base are the same, if the base are the same, pick one of the base and put the powers together. Now let's look at the second law of indices. The second law. Now the second law is also saying that if you are dividing and the base are the same, subtract the powers. If you are dividing. So let's say 2 raised to the power 5 divided by 2 raised to the power 3. Because I am dividing and the base are the same, what do I have to do? I have to pick one of the base and subtract the powers. The power here is 5, the one here is 3. So I'll say 5 minus 3. Remember that both 5 and 3 are powers. So you write them at their rightful positions. If I have 5 and I take away 3, I'm left with 2. This 2 is the base. Subtractive will give me raised to the power 2. So the second law says that if you are dividing and the base are the same, pick one of the base and subtract the powers. Let's take another example. Let's say we have 7 raised to the power 8 divided by 7 raised to the power 3. 7 raised to the power 3 is 8 divided by 7 raised to the power 3. Remember, you are dividing this time. And the second law is saying that if you are dividing two numbers of the same base, if the base are the same, you subtract the powers. So the base here is 7 and the base here is 7. So what do I do? Subtract the powers. The power here is 8, the power here is 3. So because I am dividing, I'll pick one base and subtract my powers, which is 8 minus 3. So 8 taken away 3 will give me 7 raised to the power 5. 7 raised to the power 5, because 8 taken away 3 will give you 7. So this is what the first law is saying. Let's look at another example for the second law. Sorry. So let's say we have the third one. A raised to the power 10 over A raised to the power 3. A raised to the power 10 over A raised to the power 3. Now this A raised to the power over this shows division. Why? Because the over, the over sign here, this sign is division. So this is the same as a raised to the power 10 divided by a raised to the power 3. I am dividing. The powers are also the same. What do I have to do? If you are dividing and the base are the same, sorry, if you are dividing and this is the base, these are the base and these are the powers. So because the bases are the same, we pick one base, then we subtract the power. So 10 minus 11. Sorry, 10 minus 3. This is going to give me 7. So this will give me A raised to the power 7 as my final answer for the second law. So the second law says if you are divided and the base are the same, subtract the powers. Let's look at the last law or the third law of indices, the third law, the third law. Now the third law is saying that a power raised to the power, a power, if you have a power and that power has been raised to a power, you multiply the two powers. What am I talking about? A power, if I say a power, two raised to the power three is a power. So if this power has been raised to another power, let's say this has been raised to the power 4. They've raised this thing to the power 4. What do you have to do? You have to multiply the powers. And the powers here are 3 
times four. So the third law says that if a power is raised to another power, you multiply the two powers. So this power, two raised to the power three, has been raised again to the power four. He says that multiply the powers. So the powers are three and four. So three times four. Three times four. If you recite your three times tables, three times four will give you twelve. So three times four is twelve. So this will give me two raised to the power twelve. That is what the third law is saying. Let's look at the example. Example. Another example. Let's say we have. 7 raised to the power 2. All this has been raised again to the power 2. So 7 raised to the power 2 raised again to the power 2. And the third law is saying that when you see something like this, just multiply the two powers. The power here is 2, the one here is 2. So I'm going to say 7 raised to the power 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 is going to give me 4. So this will give me 7 raised to the power 4. Now, if you are being asked to simplify, remember that when we did this, we had 2 raised to the power 12. This 2 raised to the power 12 is not 2 times 12. It is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 12 times. And this has been explained in our previous videos. So if you want more on the powers of numbers, please stay tuned and go and be educated or visit our previous videos. This is easy mathematics. Indeed, mathematics is always easy. Let's look at the last example for this one. Let's see, we have x raised to the power three raised again to the power 5. The raise, x raised to the power 3, raised to the power 5. The power here is 3, the power here is 5. So what do you do? Multiply the powers. So 3 times 5. 3, 5 is 15. So the power will give me x raised to the power 15. And these are the laws of uh, indices. If we know the, third, the first law, Multiplying having the same base, add the powers. The second law, dividing having the same base, subtract the powers. And the third law, if a power has been raised to a power, multiply the powers. If we know this, trust me, we can solve any question they ask us to solve and won't have any problem in powers of numbers. So what we need are the laws, the three laws of indices. Let's say a simplification question says, simplify. The most popular word in mathematics, simplify. Let's say we have to simplify 2 raised to the power 4, x raised to the power 2, times 2 raised to the power 2, x raised to the power 4. When you look at this, that we have been asked to simplify. 2 has been raised to the power 4. This same 2 again has been raised to the power 2. So, because I am multiplying, and what I'm multiplying is the power of a number, or powers of numbers, I will use my first law. That says that if you are multiplying and the base are the same, add the powers. So, the base here are 2. So I'll pick one of the two and add the powers, 4 plus 2. When you look at the variable x to the power 2 or x squared times x squared, bases are the same. So pick one base, add the powers, 2 plus 4. If I'm going to add the power here, I'm going to get 2 raised to the power 6 x raised to the power 6 and this becomes my answer. I can break this down by multiplying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 6 times which will give me 64. So this can also be equal to 64 x raised to the power 6 because 
2 raised to the power 6 is not 2 times 6, but it is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Let's look at the second example. We have 4 a cubed b squared times 2a b cubed. You are being asked to simplify this. 4a squared, sorry, 4a cubed b squared times 2a b cubed. Now when you look at the numbers here, the numbers are not the same. Because their numbers are not the same, you are going to multiply 4 times 2. You will multiply 4 times 2 to get it. Or somebody will choose to say that this 2 is the same as 2 times 2. So you can raise it to the power. So if we multiply 4 times 2, you are going to get 8. I multiply 4 times 2 because there is no power here and there is no power here. And even if there is a power, the bases are not the same. So I can't use the laws. I will therefore multiply the powers. But the laws will work for a cube times a. Because a is not having a power, it means there is an unseen one there. So a cube times a raised to the power 1 will give me a raised to the power 2. Sorry, will give me a raised to the power 4. Why? Because I am adding the powers and I'm multiplying. So if you are multiplying, you add the powers. So 3 plus 1 will give me 4. Then you go to the next variable, which is b. This is b raised to the power 2 times b raised to the power 3. So if you have b raised to the power 2 times b raised to the power 3, you are multiplying, which shows add the powers. So this will give me b raised to the power 5 as my final answer. So this will give me 8a to the power 4, b to the power 5. And this is the multiplication of powers. Let's look at the other one, the division. And we look at one aspect under it. Then we shall close the curtain down on this. We have to simplify. 24a cubed y squared all over 8a squared y. We are simplifying 24a cubed y squared all over 8a squared y. Now, when you see a question like this, you have to divide. But look at this. You, when you see a question like this, you tackle the numbers separately. Then you look at the variables having the same base. And when you look at this, the base are the same. A, A, Y, Y. You are dividing. So therefore, we are going to use the second law of indices. Now, look at 24. You have 24 divided by 8. 24 divided by 8. If you have 24 and you are dividing by 8, it means 8 will go into 24 how many times? 8, 1, 8. 8, 2, 16. 8, 3, 24. So it means 8 will go into itself 1 and 8 will go into 24 3 times. So the numbers here, I was able to get 3 for the numbers. Now you come to this one. A cubed over A squared. Or A raised to the power 3 over A squared. I'm dividing and the bases are the same. The second law said, if you are dividing and the bases are the same, subtract the powers. So if I subtract 3 minus 2, or 2 from 3, it will give me 1. So I'll write a raised to the power 1. Or you can choose not to write the 1. Then this one to the same. The bases are the same. You are dividing. What do you do? Pick one of the y, then you subtract. The power here is 1. 
So 2 minus 1 will also give me 1. You can choose to write or ignore. So at the end of the day, we are going to get to the power 1, which is equal to 3ay. And this becomes our final answer for this. Let's take a look at the last part one. Number four. We have five, so 15 x cube y to the power five all over five x y to the power three. You are dividing, and because you are dividing, look at the numbers. Is it having the same powers or not the same powers? If it is having the same powers, then you go straight forward and you find your answer. So when you look at this, deal with the numbers first. 15 over 5. Because this is not in powers, this is also not in powers, then I'll quickly go without the law. And because the bases are not the same, you say we are going to use a different method. By just cancelling, ask yourself, 15 will go into, 5 will go into 15 how many times? 15 into each of 1, 15, in, 5 into each of 1, 15 into each of 3. This will give me 3 whole number. Then we have x raised to the power 3 over x. Because this is being raised to the power 3 and the bases are the same, it means this x is also having an exponent of 1, which is unwritten. So if you have 3, 1, you are dividing, bases are the same. What do you do? You subtract the powers. So the bases are the same. Pick 1. 3, if you take away 1, you are left with 2. So x raised to the power 2. Then you come to the y. The bases are the same. What do you do? You pick 1. Then you subtract the powers. 5 taking away 3 will give me 2. And this becomes my final answer for this. Let's look at another one. We have... 2 raised to the power 4 times 3 raised to the power 5 all over 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 2 times 3 raised to the power negative 1. We have this. 2 raised to the power 4 times 3 raised to the power 5 all over 2 raised to the power 2 times 3 raised to the power negative 1. How can I solve this? When you look at this vertically, base is 2, base is 3. I can't use the law because the law is saying that if the base are the same, then you are multiplying other powers. So because the base are not the same, I won't use the law. But when you look at it this way, we can say that this base and this base, they are the same. 2 is the same as 2. This one to 3 is the same as 3. So which law will I use? I'm going to use the second law of indices. And what is the second law saying? The second law is saying that if you are dividing and you have the same base, subtract the powers. So, I am multiplying. So, I'll pick one of the base, two, and subtract the powers. Four minus two. I'm multiplying this times this. Bases are also the same. Pick one base, subtract the powers. Five minus, you subtract the power. But remember that the power here is negative one. So, five minus negative one. 1, which is the power here. So if you don't think here, you might think that the negative is the subtraction. And you will get it wrong. So in mathematics, you have to be very, very careful when we are dealing with the negative signs. Now let's look at what we'll be doing next. 
Now I have the power here. 4 minus 2. 4 taken away 2 will give me 2. So that will give me 2 raised to the power 2. Times. Now you have here 3 raised to the power 5 minus negative 1. So when negative and negative meets, there is a commotion and it changes to addition. So this will be 5 plus 1, which will give me to the power 6. And this becomes my answer for this. If we are able to master this one, all questions that will be asked under multiplication and division of powers will be able to tackle all. Let's look at the last one and take our lead. Let's say we have 6, the same one. We have 2 raised to the power 3 times 3 raised to the power 2 times 2 raised to the power 4 times 3. This is a multiplication question. You have to multiply or simplify. When you look at this, you have 2 raised to the power 3 times 3. The bases here are not the same, but you are multiplying throughout. But there is a base here which is 2, another base here which is 2. So what do you do? Just group like things. All the numbers with the same base are one side. So I'll say 2 raised to the power 3. Then you bring times 2 raised to the power 4. Times 3 raised to the power 2. Then times 3 raised to the power 1. Because there is no power. In our previous video, we said a, a number written without a power shows to the power 1. So what do I do next? I multiply, bases are the same. Pick one, add the powers to the power seven. Times, I multiply, the bases are the same. Pick one, add the powers to the power three. And this becomes your answer. If you want to simplify, because the bases are not the same, don't pick one or multiply this times this. No, you ask yourself, two times two, seven times will give you what? You write it down. Three times three, three times will give you what? Multiply the two results, then you get your final answer. So this is how we multiply and divide powers of numbers. And it can only be done using the laws of indices. The first law says that if you are multiplying and the powers are the same, Pick one and the base are the same. Pick one of the base, add the powers. If you are dividing and the bases are the same, pick one, subtract the powers. And also, if you have a power that has been raised to a power, you multiply the powers to get the answer. If the base are not the same, somebody will ask, what will I do? If the base are not the same, just simplify each power that you multiply. So if you have 2 raised to the power 3 times 3 raised to the power 2, the base here is 2, the base here is 3, they are not the same. So this 2 raised to the power 3, you simplify by multiplying 2 times 2 times 2, 3 times, which will give you 8, you write it down. Then 3 raised to the power 2 will give you 9, you write it down. Then you multiply 8 times 9 to get your answer. That means that one, you are not going to use the law. Thank you very, very, uh, very much, viewers. This brings us to the end of today's video. Please, as you are watching, don't forget, don't forget to hit the subscription button so that any time you release a video, you will be able to be educated. We thank God for another Friday. And I hope that you people will like our page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for staying tuned, and God willing, we will meet again Friday with a new topic. God bless you. Bye-bye.